In this video, we're gonna go over the basics of the flute, how to hold the flute, different parts of the flute. We're gonna go over how to play the basic scale on the flute, how to play some melodies, and also some other techniques that will make playing your spirit flute really fun and dynamic. So let's get started. First, we'll go over the basic parts of the flute. You have the mouthpiece on a side blown spirit flute, it's on the side, where on a straight blown spirit flute, it'll be on the top. And that's a real key difference, as you'll see. There's the sound hole or the fipple, which is here, and that's the square hole, and that's where the sound comes out. And then you have the fingering holes. Now, to play the flute, the first technique you'll want to learn is how to cover the holes. And to do that, you want to use a real flat finger. Instead of using an arched finger or the tips of the fingers, really flatten your fingers out. So that way you'll use the pads of the fingers and the pads have a lot more surface area. It makes it a little easier to catch the holes, which tends to be one of the more challenging things in the beginning of playing the flute. Now you'll want to use the, for the, for the side blown flute, it's specific to which hand you're going to use. So you're going to use your left hand on top and your right hand on the bottom three notes or the notes that'll be further away from you. You'll use your pointer finger and your index finger on the top two holes. Your ring finger is just going to sit on a five hole side blown flute, just going to sit where there's no hole. And then on a six hole, there'll be a hole there. So you'll put your finger on that hole as well. And then with the right hand, you'll cover the bottom three holes. Now the next technique you'll need to learn is an embouchure or it's a fancy word for a mouth position. And what that is, is how you place your mouth on the flute. And the way you do that is you do kind of a pursing of the lips. You cover the top of the, of the hole just a little bit, the top of the mouth hole, just a little bit with your upper lip and the lower lip will sit just below it. That does two things. One, it creates back pressure and that back pressure allows for more control of the notes and allows for a sweeter sound. You can find, you can find that sweet sound in the notes a lot easier. Once you get those techniques, the next step will be to play up and down the scale. So now we're going to play up and down the scale. And the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to get that bottom note. You'll want to be able to get a real solid sound on that bottom note. So cover all the holes. Remember to use a flat finger. Now on a side blown flute, you're going to be holding it up to the side. Thus it's a side blown flute. And that's why the mouth hole is on the side. So use your embouchure and go ahead and, and purse your lips and give it a, just blow real lightly into the flute. And you should get a nice solid sound. It's going to be solid and kind of a sweet tone to it. If you get something else, if it sounds something like this, that could be one of two things. Usually it means that one of the holes isn't quite covered. So make sure you use a real flat finger, readjust your, your, uh, your fingers on the holes and flatten your fingers to make sure you're going to cover all the holes completely. The other thing it could be is that you're blowing either too hard or too soft. It tends to be too hard. Uh, people tend to naturally blow a little harder than the flute likes so that the voice kind of squeaks. So vary your breath pressure. Try a softer breath and try making sure that your holes are covered and do that until you get that nice solid tone. Now we're going to walk up the, uh, walk up the scale. So you're going to start with the bottom note and you're going to go one at a time up the flute. So you're going to go real slow on this. Going slow is important because you want to listen to each note. You want to make sure that they sound nice and solid and sweet, just like that low note. So you're going to walk up from the bottom. As you go, you're going to probably want to take a breath. Whenever you feel like you need a breath, just pause and take a breath naturally and then just keep going. As you walk up the flute, you'll notice that you, you need to put a little more breath pressure into it. So the lower notes are going to take a lighter breath pressure. And as you, in, as you incrementally go up, you'll want to blow a little harder. It's subtle, but if you listen, you'll notice the difference. If you get to the top and the note sounds kind of weak, blow a little harder and that'll give you a more solid sound. Now we're going to want to go back down the scale, which is a little more challenging in the beginning. And the reason is because you're catching you need to catch the holes as you're going along and catching the holes again tends to be the biggest challenge in the beginning. 
So with all the holes open, you want to use a real flat finger and close one hole at a time down from the top. Now you want to pause on each note and listen to it. And listening is really important to music. In the beginning, you're listening for the tonal quality of your, of your flute and your sound so that you can adjust to make it sound nice or teach your fingers how to catch the holes correctly. So starting from the top, we're gonna to go real slow. And again, as you go down, you'll wanna lower the breath pressure and, and the lower notes especially. So go one at a time down from the top, real slow. Now as you're going down, if one of the notes sounds off, if you hit a note like, and it sounds off like this, kind of not solid, a little bit it sounds a little off, that means your, whole, your finger didn't catch the hole completely. And what you wanna do is you don't wanna just slide your finger to try and catch it. You wanna pick your finger back up and re-put it down. And the reason being is because you're teaching your finger muscle memory. In the beginning, when we're walking up and down the scale like this, we're really just teaching our fingers muscle memory. That way we don't have to pay attention. The fingers just start, uh, start catching the holes on their own over time. And that's an important foundation to playing melodies on the flute. So you're teaching your fingers muscle memory by instead of just trying to adjust your finger to catch the hole, you lift it back up and then put it back down in the hole correctly. Now from here, walk up and down the scale a few times, listen to what you're doing, get it so that when you walk up and down, you're doing it relatively easy. You find that you can start maybe going a little faster because your fingers are learning how to catch the holes easier. Once you kind of feel like you're getting it, you may be feeling a little bit bored with it, then it's time to move on to playing some simple melodies.